The successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation has raised morale not only in Ukraine but also in the post-Soviet space which has lived under Moscow's yoke for centuries. Residents of Kazakhstan are celebrating the achievements of Ukrainian soldiers. This was reported in his blog by the well-known Kazakh activist Adilzan Abdugaliev. The footage is available on the Telegram channel Ukraine365. The activist expressed confidence that the Ukrainian march is the beginning of the collapse of the Russian Federation. We didn't sleep all night. We celebrated. Almaty is on our ears. People are calling from all the cities of Kazakhstan, congratulating us. The Kazakhs are celebrating the successes of the armed forces of Ukraine no less than the new year. The armed forces of Ukraine are the gods of war. We, Kazakhs, have always supported you. We also have those who support the Russian world, Putin. No one is visible at all. Everyone is hiding somewhere in their holes. The armed forces of Ukraine are the gods of war. All the Kazakhs are happy. I also drank three mugs of beer. I drank for the first destroyed Russian column in the Kamaz trucks. For the second with these loaves for the airfields in Lipetsk. This is only the beginning. Russians, get on your knees. Beg for mercy, for forgiveness. Wash your kokoshniks. Bake some loaves of bread. Make a hole in the center for salt and meet the liberators. This is only the beginning. Georgia is still rising. Chechnya rises. Everyone you killed, they are all happy now. Everyone will help now. Inside your failed country, the armed forces of Ukraine will help. Outside your failed country, everyone is helping Ukraine. Azerbaijanis, Armenians, Georgians, Chechens. Abdugaliev said, Recall, Ukrainian defense forces launched their major offensive in the Kursk region. The Ukrainian armed forces broke through the border in two places and began to advance deep into Russian territory. The operation is still ongoing and the Russian army has been unable to stabilize the situation. According to preliminary data, Ukrainian forces have taken control of about 650 square kilometers. While the advance groups are moving forward, reserves are being brought into the territory to consolidate it. Instead of martial law, the Kremlin has introduced a counter-terrorist operation regime in the territories bordering Ukraine. At least 18 people were killed and 14 others injured as a piled-up rubbish collapsed at a vast landfill site in the Ugandan capital Kampala, the Red Cross said. The collapse had been caused by heavy rainfall, with the city authority stating there was a structural failure in waste mass. Irene Nakasita, a spokeswoman for the Uganda Red Cross, said the death toll reached 18 after more bodies were retrieved Sunday. She stressed that rainfall was slowing the efforts of searchers digging through heaps of trash. The Katizi landfill is on a steep slope in an impoverished part of the city. Women and children who scavenge plastic waste for income frequently gather there, and some homes have been built close to the landfill.